Research ships found that flows of debris stretching at least 80 kilometers across the seabed. Perfectly calm when suddenly this happens. A flock of black birds swirled to the ground. Spider swarm. Thousands upon thousands of spiders took up residence on a farm in New South Wales, Australia. Get ready for a journey into the extraordinary. Today, we're uncovering the most astonishing and spine-tingling things ever witnessed falling from the sky. From the bizarre to the unbelievable, these sky-born mysteries will leave you in awe. Join us as we take a look at 20 scariest things that fell from the sky. Number 20. Blood Rain Blood Rain was an uncommon incident that befell Zamora, a Spanish city located in the northwest during the autumn of 2014. Residents were both baffled and scared by what they saw. The water had turned red as it rained. The transformation was most striking in the city's fountains, which normally feature transparent water turning dark red. Preliminary studies showed that the redness resulted due to a microalgal bloom. The blood-red appearance of rain as well as water from fountains comes from this freshwater alga that synthesizes a red dye under strain. Interestingly, the given algae is non-local for the Zamora area, and it is not an inhabitant of other bodies of water in the neighborhood. Hence, researchers reasoned that the algae must have traveled some distance in the air and then precipitated along with the rain into the city's fountains. There were thorough examinations of weather trend charts and meteorological data on where exactly the algae came from. The incapability to figure out the source of algae made the blood rain event more mysterious. Number 19. Leopard Shark Something remarkable happened in California. In a remarkable incident that took place at the San Juan Hills Golf Club, a small leopard shark fell from the sky. This unusual event was first noticed by a course marshal who was on duty at that time. The marshal discovered the shark on the ground clearly out of its natural habitat. The incident was shocking, for several reasons. Firstly, because the occurrence of a shark falling from the sky is an extremely rare event and such incidents are not part of everyday experiences, adding to the element of surprise and shock. Secondly, the fact that the shark was still alive when it was found added to the awe as one would naturally expect that a fall from such a height would be fatal to most creatures. However, this shark managed to survive. Upon investigation, it was speculated that the shark was plucked from the ocean by a bird and then subsequently dropped off. With the urgency of the situation, the marshal placed the shark in a bucket of salt water and drove it to the ocean about five miles away from the golf course. Then the shark was released back into its natural habitat. Number 18. Crashing Birds On a fateful New Year's Eve in 2010, the town of Beebe, Arkansas, witnessed a truly bizarre event. Around one mile away within a small vicinity, the birds dropped from the sky, numbering as many as thousands of red-winged blackbirds, European starlings, common grackles, and brown-headed cowbirds. Birds just suddenly fell in calm weather, which caused fear and questioning among residents. This event was referred to as the mass bird mortality that had caught public attention and attracted scientific research to understand what might have caused it. Thousands of birds falling from the sky left people wondering about the frailness and mutuality of ecosystems. This was an indication that there are still the natural world secrets that cannot be forgotten. People need to continue with scientific research to secure their surroundings. The untimely death of these birds is suggested by Karen Rowe, who is a representative of the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission and she concludes that this was so because these birds flew low to flee noisy fireworks during New Year's celebrations. She argued that this conduct caused the animals to bump into objects unexpectedly, and thus they perished. Nonetheless, what led to this major bird mortality incident still constitutes an ongoing discussion as well as research. The event in Beebe, Arkansas, was noticed not just by people around, but also on a worldwide scale, 
and demonstrated tremendous environmental as well as human implications. Think this is the scariest thing to have fallen from the sky? Stay tuned to find out. Number 17. Frozen Iguanas In the year 2010, Florida had its fair amount of a chilly breeze, with temperatures going as low as into the 40s Fahrenheit. This unexpected decrease in temperature surprised numerous occupants. However, it affected the local iguanas. Iguanas are cold-blooded reptiles, meaning they depend on outward sources to control their internal heat level. At the point when the temperature decreases too low, their bodies become dull and they cannot move again. In a few outrageous cases, they might freeze intensely. In the issue of the Florida iguanas, the cold was cruel to such an extent that it made a considerable lot of them lose their hold on the trees they were connecting to and tumble to the ground. Seeing these enormous green reptiles dispersed on the walkways and roads was unnerving. For what reason did this happen, you might ask? Well, if an iguana's internal heat level dips under a particular point, its muscles become stiff. This is because the chilly temperature affects the nerve that controls the muscle and the iguana becomes incapable of moving its muscles or clutching anything. Now and again, the cold can also make an iguana's heart quit beating. However, this is normally just short, and the iguana's heart will begin pulsing again once it heats up. Notwithstanding, a few iguanas might experience side effects of frostbite or various wounds because of the freeze. This issue of frozen iguanas is, to some degree, uncommon and it possibly happens when there is an unexpected and extreme decrease in temperature. Notwithstanding, it has been known to happen in Florida on a couple of events, like in the years 2010, 2018, and 2022. Number 16. Hailstone On July 23, 2010, a thunderstorm near Vivian, South Dakota, produced the largest hailstone ever recorded. The hailstone measured 8 inches in diameter, 18.5 inches in circumference, and weighed 2 pounds. Hailstones form within thunderstorms when strong updrafts lift raindrops into the cold upper regions of the storm cloud. The raindrops freeze and grow as they are tossed up and down within the cloud, accumulating layers of ice. Eventually, the hailstone becomes too heavy for the updrafts to sustain and falls to the ground. The formation of a hailstone of this size requires specific meteorological conditions. Strong updrafts are necessary to keep the hailstone aloft within the cloud for an extended period, allowing it to grow larger. Additionally, the cloud must contain a significant amount of supercooled water, which is liquid water that remains in a liquid state even at temperatures below freezing. This supercooled water provides the necessary material for the hailstone to grow. Number 15. Volcanic Ash Cloud On January 15, 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai Volcano, located in the South Pacific Ocean near the Tongan Archipelago, erupted with explosive force. The eruption was so powerful that it triggered a massive tsunami and sent a shockwave around the world. The ash cloud from the eruption reached an altitude of over 58 kilometers, making it the highest volcanic plume ever recorded. The ash cloud spread over a vast area, covering much of the Tongan Islands and parts of Fiji, New Zealand, and Australia. The ash caused significant damage to infrastructure, agriculture, and the environment. It also poses a serious health risk to residents, as inhaling volcanic ash can cause respiratory problems. Number 14. Spider Rain A phenomenon nicknamed spider rain, where millions of small spiders drop down in the sky of Australia, for example. The occurrence of this event across several regions of the country, notably in South Australia, has been witnessed. Spiders that participate in these occurrences are mostly not poisonous to people. However, the sight of droves of spiders falling from heaven is very fearsome. This happens after an act referred to as ballooning. This is what spiders, especially the young ones or spiderlings, do. This process entails spiders going up plants to heights and emitting wavy strands of silk, which are blown by the air. Such makes it possible for the wind to carry them away, and they are then wafting around sometimes at considerable distances. 
There's nothing unusual about spiders traveling like that, but there are just too many of them participating at the same time. It remains uncertain why so many spiders would decide to go on the migratory flight at the same period. However, some speculations suggest that possible weather and wind conditions might initiate this massive movement. Number 13. Frog Rain On an otherwise typical day in 2005, things took an unexpected turn in the tiny Serbian village of Odzaci. As people went about their regular lives, the sky let loose a strange shower, not of rain, but of frogs. Thousands of small amphibians arrived in the town, turning it into a wiggling, jumping display. The odd episode perplexed and amused the locals in equal measure. Theories regarding the origin of these flying frogs ranged from local schoolchildren's malicious pranks to the intervention of extraterrestrial entities. The most probable answer, on the other hand, referred to nature's capricious abilities. The culprit was thought to be a water spout, a violent whirlwind that may occur over water. A water spout's rotating vortex may snare anything on the ground, even unwary frogs. A water spout is likely to have swept up frogs from a nearby pond or lake, transporting them high into the atmosphere in this case. These flying frogs then took out on an aerial voyage, covering many kilometers before being liberated from their whirlwind ride. What do you think may have caused this water spout or another reason? Share your opinion in the comment below. Number 12. Frozen Fishes In the Honduran town of Yoro in 2009, a remarkable event occurred. A shower of frozen fish came down from the sky. This event left the local area bewildered and searching for answers. The most sensible clarification for this odd occasion is on areas of strength for a storm-like whirlpool that structures over water. It's accepted that this water spout, with its strong pull force, raised the fish which were sardines, from their territory and pushed them high out of view and into the sky. At those levels, the temperatures froze the fish powerfully before they were at long last delivered back to earth as the water spout scattered. The abrupt decrease in temperature would have liquefied the fish upon impact, causing the rain of frozen fish to fall on Yoro. While water spouts are genuinely normal, the capacity to raise objects as vast as fish, not to mention something as intense as a shark, is extremely fascinating. The display of fish falling from the sky, known as luvia de peixes, or rain of fishes in Spanish, isn't quite so strange as one would have naturally suspected. There have been different reports of comparative occasions since forever ago, with recorded cases going back. Number 11. Asteroid on June 30, 1908, a huge event unfolded near the Podkamenaya Tunguska River in what is now Krasnoyarsk Krai, Russia. A stony asteroid, estimated to be 164 to 200 feet in size, approached Earth from the east-southeast at a blistering speed of about 60,000 Dalswarambar. Instead of making contact with the surface, the asteroid exploded at an altitude of 3 to 6 miles, unleashing an energy equivalent to approximately 15 megatons of TNT. This forceful detonation flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 830 square miles, leaving behind a scorched expanse of charred forest. The shockwave from the explosion was so powerful that it knocked people off their feet and shattered windows hundreds of miles away. Tremors from the event were recorded by seismic stations across Eurasia, and airwaves from the blast were detected as far away as Germany, Denmark, Croatia, and the United Kingdom. While the exact number of casualties remains uncertain, it is believed that at least three people perished in the Tunguska event. Number 10. Green Meteor Another meteor exploded in the night sky over the Tasman Sea on the 18th of November, 2020. It was captured by Australia's National Science Agency, CSIRO. Its appearance was described as beautiful by a voyage manager of CSIRO, John Hooper. The meteor was a piece of celestial rock that had entered Earth's atmosphere after traveling through space. The meteor changed into a fireball when it hit the atmosphere and released a dazzling green glow. 
Although the meteor's video was only recorded in black and white, witnesses said that the meteor's flash seemed green to the unaided eye. Number 9. Rainbow Meteorite On two villages in Costa Rica on April 23, 2019, were able to bear witness to a meteorite displaying different colors, like a rainbow as it fell from the sky, scattering all fragments of the area. The meteorite was larger named Agazarcas, and it was an asteroid. A lot of scientists speculated that it must have been coma complex carbon compounds, and it also had a very strong similarity to the meteor that had exploded over in the town of Murchison in Australia in the year 1969. This assumption was made because of the amino acids that were in both meteors. Agazarex was estimated to be over 4,000 million years old. Number 8 space rocket debris. The trunk of the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft entered the Earth's atmosphere on July 09, 2022, and burned up over the Pacific Ocean. It was the last part, the trunk, weighing around 1,600 liib, of the Dragon launch pad that took off from Cape Canaveral in Florida on June 29, 2022. The United States Space Force predicted that it would re-enter, the Space Force commented that it was predicted to re-enter over the Pacific Ocean while posing no threat of injury or damage at the ground level. Some sections of the Pacific Ocean saw this re-entry visually, and some people also reported seeing the debris in their planes or on their boats. Radar and satellites also followed it, tracking the debris. The recent SpaceX Dragon trunk re-entry is indicative of the amount of debris now in orbit around the planet. The European Space Agency estimates that there are almost one million pieces of debris of over one centimeter in outer orbits rounding Earth. This trash endangers satellites and other spacecrafts, in addition to being able to come down on Earth, leading to damages or injuries. Number 7. Blobs in 1994, something unusual and unsettling happened in Oakville, Washington. Of the raindrops, the sky seemed to release blobs of a strange, clear, gelatin-like substance. This peculiar occurrence, known as the Oakville blobs, covered everything from buildings and vehicles to the ground itself. It all began on August 7th of that year, when this gelatinous rain started falling from above. Over three weeks, it showered down on Oakville six times, covering an area of 20 miles. These were no raindrops. They were jelly-like, in consistency, transparent and sticky. One of the individuals to come across these mysterious blobs was police officer David Lacey. While driving with a friend, they encountered this rainfall. Initially, nothing seemed out of place until Lacey activated his windshield wipers only to find that they failed to clear his windshield. Then, obtaining a view through the glass, all he got was a smudged mess. The unusual appearance of these blobs wasn't their peculiarity. They also seemed connected to a series of health issues experienced by Oakville residents. Many people started reporting symptoms such as fatigue, nausea, respiratory infections, and flu-like ailments. Since the gelatinous blobs were discovered to harbor bacteria, it appeared plausible that they could be responsible for these ailments. Nevertheless, there is debate regarding whether the bacteria possess the harmfulness to induce such symptoms. Number 6. Rain of Rocks In 2013, Mount Etna, one of the most active volcanoes on the planet, erupted in a grand spectacle. The eruption took place on the 5th and 6th of March 2013, and was so powerful that it caused a rain of rocks from the heavens. The eruption propelled lava fountains high into the sky and resulted in a significant ash fallout along the volcano's northeastern flank. But the eruption didn't just eject ash. It also spewed out pumice stones, light porous volcanic rocks formed by the rapid cooling of lava. These pumice stones, along with other volcanic debris, were thrust high into the sky by the eruption's force. As they descended back to Earth, it seemed as if rocks were raining from the sky. Number 5. Black Snow 
Black snow is what happens when snow becomes dirtied with dark particles. These particles can emerge from different sources, including industries, volcanoes, and wild fears. In 2006, the Siberian town of Mezdurechensk had an episode of black snow brought about by contamination from a nearby coal power plant. The presence of black snow is a danger to both humans and nature. The particles affect the snow's properties, making it absorb more daylight and become liquid at a quicker rate. This dissolving impacts the water cycle and can cause flooding and soil pollution. Also, the pollution in the snow can contaminate water sources and affect plant growth. Number 4. Chelyabinsk Meteorite A large meteor fell on the southern region of Russia on the 15th of February 2013. This meteor was about 60 feet in diameter and weighed over 999,000 tons. Okay, this meteor entered and exploded in the air of the Chelyabinsk Oblast. It exploded at about 18 miles above the air, and the explosion produced a very bright flash accompanied by a lot of hot clouds, heat dust, and of course many shattering fragments of the meteorite. This event damaged over 7,000 buildings and resulted in over $30 million loss for them, with over 1,000 people injured in the process. This meteorite was recorded to be the largest meteorite so far since the Tunguska event in 1908. But on the plus side, scientists were able to recover around 50 samples from the ice lake of Chebarkul, which was a 20-foot wide hole that was the cause of a single meteorite fragmented impact. Number 3. A Swarm of Locusts in 2021, the town of Stockton in California received an uninvited swarm of locusts. They were believed to have been carried there by strong winds from a desert that should be near them. The swarm was very large as it was able to cover the entire town and spread damage to all the farmers' crops. Not only were they large, but they were bogged too. Each is about two inches long and has brown bodies with yellow wings, they are grasshoppers that are known to eat crops, and they followed up the town, which was estimated to be about 10 miles long and 2 miles wide. Number 2. Ice Block In 2006, an extraordinary event occurred in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. A big chunk of ice crashed from the skies and weighed about 60 tons. The mystery surrounding this strange happening puzzled residents and scientists who came up with various theories and conducted research. People living nearby found this tremendous icy projectile in a river, raising their interest due to its huge size and inappropriate location. Initially, there was suspicion that it could have been ice from an airplane toilet block. Nevertheless, such an assumption never stood the test of time due to the lack of the corresponding wreckage and debris. The more the experts dug deep into the puzzle, they began suspecting that the ice block had found its way there from a far-off glacier, possibly displaced by some natural catastrophe such as an earthquake or volcano. Because of the irregular shape of the block along and the strength of the impact, which suggests that the block had traveled for a long time before landing in the Congo. Theories also emerged about extraterrestrial origins, with some suggesting it could be a fragment from a comet or other celestial body. This idea was fueled by the sheer size of the ice block and the fact that it contained elements not typically found in Earth's glaciers. Investigations into its composition revealed unusual isotopes, further deepening the enigma. The Congo ice block, thus, remains an enduring mystery, a baffling example of the unexpected and inexplicable objects that occasionally plummet from our skies, challenging our understanding of the world and beyond. Number 1. Glowing Orb in the heart of Texas, back in 2015, the night sky was pierced by a sight so extraordinary it could have sprung from a science fiction novel. A glowing orb, akin to a celestial basketball, made its descent from the heavens, casting an ethereal, otherworldly glow on the stunned onlookers below. Its incandescent aura bathed the surroundings in a surreal light, 
captivating the eyes and hearts of those lucky enough to witness this celestial ballet. This orb's journey through the sky was a mesmerizing display of cosmic grace. It descended slowly, almost deliberately, as if it were aware of its audience on Earth. Its movements were hypnotic, defying conventional explanations and challenging the very laws of physics. The orb seemed to be more than just a physical entity. It was a spectacle, a mysterious show put on by the universe itself. As the orb continued its descent, every eye was locked onto its trajectory, tracing its path through the starlit sky. The air was thick with anticipation, each observer holding their breath, waiting to see the culmination of this otherworldly event. Then, in a moment as unexpected as its arrival, the orb simply vanished. It left behind no trace but a fleeting trail of shimmering light, like stardust scattered across the night. The orb's disappearance was as enigmatic as its appearance, leaving a sense of wonder, a myriad of unanswered questions, and an indelible memory in the minds of those who had the fortune to witness its brief visit. This glowing orb from the Texas night sky remains a beautiful, unexplained mystery, a reminder of the vast, unexplored wonders of our universe. Which do you find most intriguing and scary? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.